If you're on the lookout for a great new show to help teach you about business, check out The Hustle Daily Show, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business builders. The Hustle Daily Show is your daily dose of business, tech, news, and original stories to keep you in the loop on what's trending in business. Just like here, it's a daily podcast on which their team of writers break down the biggest business headlines in 10 minutes or less and explain why you should care about them. They'll also do deep dives on topics like a man who won the lottery 14 times and why it's nearly impossible to buy an original Bob Ross painting. I checked out a few episodes of The Hustle Daily Show and to me, it was quick, educational, and feels like the perfect show to pair with OWD. So search for The Hustle Daily Show in your favorite podcast app, like the one you're using right now. You'll be glad you did. This episode is brought to you by Vital Farms. Isn't it bullshit to have to question where your food comes from? At Vital Farms, you can trace your pasture-raised eggs all the way back to the source, the pasture. On the side of each pasture-raised carton of eggs, you'll find the name of the farm where your eggs were laid. And when you look the farm up on their website, you'll get a peek at all the sunshine, fresh air, and open space the hens enjoy. Learn more and find out where to buy them at vitalfarms.com. Vital Farms, keeping it bullshit free. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1174. Errorless Leadership, Helping Others Be Successful by Brian Shelton with AubreyDaniels.com. And I'm Dan, your host of the show, and I am here with you every single day of the week sharing some articles that cover work and productivity. Of course, we get permission from the authors to do that. And this time we actually have a brand new author to share with you. And I'll tell you more about Aubrey and his website after I'm done with today's article. So let's get into it now and start optimizing your life. Errorless Leadership, Helping Others Be Successful by Brian Shelton with AubreyDaniels.com People learn more from their mistakes is an old saying that should be put out to pasture. Not only is this statement untrue from a learning standpoint, but relying on people to make mistakes to create learning situations is haphazard and reactive when it comes to developing the skills required in an organization. To illustrate why this statement is not the case, Imagine you decide to take up a new sport, golf. Being someone who wants to find success and development in the game quickly, before even swinging the clubs for the first time, you hire a golf coach. This coach claims to be a training expert in the art of learning from your mistakes. After having you watch a 20-minute PowerPoint on how to play the game, he takes you onto a course and states, I see my role as telling you when you've screwed up. That way you'll learn. Pulling up to the first hole, you nervously grab a club out of the bag to hear the coach say, nope, wrong club. Placing that club back, you grab another and hear a similar statement. Not that one either. Guess again. When a third reach of a different club gets no reaction, you head to one of four tee boxes only to hear, wrong one. After two more guesses, you again get no reaction, so you place the ball down and ask, how do I swing the club? The coach says, I'm not here to tell you how to do it, but only to point out your mistakes when you make them so you can learn from them. How long would you proceed to play the game under these conditions? My guess is not long. You'd likely fire that coach and find someone who focuses on teaching you to do something right the first time, someone who helps you be successful. What might this look like? In the beginning, instead of taking you to a course, they are likely to take you to a driving range where they can teach you the fundamentals of club selection, body positioning and weight transfer, swinging a club, etc. They would give you ample practice and feedback at each step. If this sounds like a preferred method for learning a new sport, why would organizations or leaders not use this process to teach critical organizational behaviors? Why are organizations providing subpar training or coaching to set people up to fail instead of setting their employees up for success? To help move away from this organizational failure point, here are four components necessary to set people up for success. One, planning. Planning requires selecting an objective or key business result or results to focus on, and then identifying the critical behaviors at every organizational level to drive those results. Once the behaviors are identified, it's time to assess if the organization is providing and creating alignment between the necessary metrics, direction, tools, and resources to set people up for success. If not, the organization should work toward closing those gaps. Two, training. 
Training is how the organization is going to purposefully develop the critical behaviors identified in the planning phase. Just like teaching someone to play golf, many of these behaviors need to be broken down into learnable component skills and practiced until they can be done at a level of quality and consistency. Practicing something right the first time prevents bad habits from forming, which then must be unlearned in the future. Anyone who has attempted to break a bad club swing can attest to that. Breaking down the skills allows the learner to experience success faster and more often than expecting someone to learn the complex behavior as a whole. 3. Coaching Coaching is the purposeful transfer of knowledge and skills into the real world. Even with high-fidelity training, coaching is needed to ensure someone has the skills to produce a desired outcome. We define coaching as, quote, the systematic providing of instruction and resources, building and repetition, and delivering helpful feedback and positive reinforcement to build effective behaviors, end quote. This is often a poorly managed or underutilized process in organizations. Many times, on-the-job training is performed by whoever is available rather than by a subject matter expert. This leads to drift in the behavior almost immediately. Organizations often set leaders up to fail in their coaching as well by not developing the skills to coach or not giving them the time to effectively coach others. The environments people work within are complex. Without coaching, performers are often set up to fail. And four, connecting. Connecting is about ensuring performers see the benefit or natural positive reinforcers for doing the critical behaviors. As someone's skills develop, those behaviors will produce consequences and outcomes that are desired both for the individual and the organization. Leaders should help ensure performers see that connection between what they do and how it helps. This advanced coaching ensures continual refinement of skills to help performers go from good to great as they experience the natural reinforcement produced by their behaviors. Errorless leadership does not mean that leaders will not make mistakes. It's about helping performers be as successful as possible in as little amount of time as possible. While we might learn from our mistakes, doing so is a slow and punishing process for the performer and an ineffective strategy from an organizational perspective. Give people the right tools. Train them effectively on how to do things right coach them to develop their skills on the job, and connect their behaviors to the natural reinforcers that exist for doing the critical behaviors with high quality. This process will not only develop skills faster, it will create performers who see a benefit when doing the necessary behaviors that lead to organizational success. You just listened to the post titled, Errorless Leadership, Helping Others Be Successful by Brian Shelton with AubreyDaniels.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With Nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know that they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose Nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work that we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at nuts.com slash O-W-D. So go check out all the delicious options at nuts.com slash O-W-D. You'll get that free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's nuts.com slash O-W-D. Your business is buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. If this is you, consider three numbers, 37,000, 25, 1. 37,000. That's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. 25. NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less, close their books in days, not weeks, and drive down costs. One, because your business is one of a kind, so you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. Manage risk, 
get reliable forecasts, and improve margins. NetSuite is giving you the power of having all your information in one place, helping you to make better, more driven decisions as a business owner. Everything you need to grow, all in one place. And you really can't put a price on the power and efficiency that comes with having all of your processes streamlined like this. This is truly an unprecedented offer. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist, designed to give you consistently excellent performance, absolutely free at netsuite.com startup. That's netsuite.com startup to get your own KPI checklist, netsuite.com startup. And thanks a lot to Brian for this post, but we also have to thank Aubrey Daniels, who owns and founded the site that this post comes from. Aubrey is a thought leader and expert on management, leadership, safety, and workplace issues. For the past 40 years, he's been dedicated to helping people and organizations apply the laws of human behavior to optimize performance. His company, Aubrey Daniels International, provides leadership development expertise and behavioral technology to improve your business and its culture. Regardless of your organization's industry, improving your business performance requires your employees to do some things more often, some less often, and some differently. ADI's mission is to support you in accomplishing that quickly and efficiently. They help you optimize your company's business metrics, work culture, and safety performance through positive, practical approaches that are grounded in the science of behavior and engineered to ensure long-term sustainability. Their evidence-based approach, proven in great companies worldwide, improves performance at all levels of your organization by identifying and motivating the behaviors that power your business. They meet you where you are, accelerate your path to success, and transfer their behavioral expertise to ensure lasting change. So come on by aubreydaniels.com for a lot more. And again, a big thank you to Aubrey and his team for letting us share his work. All right, that's gonna do it for another episode. And I thank you so much for tuning in and uh, making another episode possible. And be sure to come back tomorrow where we will hear from Margot Aaron and where your optimal life awaits.